Hello everyone, it's Kirsty. You know me. I do crimes and cases through the lens of astrology. Now today this is the Sydney Morning Herald. Um, today we are looking at again the disappearance of William Tyrell who when he was three vanished from his foster grandmother's home in Kendal, New South Wales on September the 12th, 2014. Now I'll just show you here. This is the house he vanished from. He was playing out the front with his little sister and he just disappeared at 10.30am. Um, in the last video, if you watched it, you'll know that I did a map and the map led to a couple of areas. Now, there's an inquest has been going on, and I saw on like the eighth of October that something has come out, and it's it matches the map that I did. So I'd like to just reiterate that and go through a few things. The Sydney Morning Herald here on the October the sixth. It's said that. After he vanished, um, there was a lady by the name of Anna Baker who told the court that she was at her home in Herons Creek. Now, I'm not sure where her home is, but um, anyway, uh, 10 minutes north of Kendall on the afternoon of the 13th and was tending to her veggie patch when she heard a child scream. Now, she had no reason to think it was William, um, but it did sound like it was a child that was hurt. Uh, now what sort of happened is it's basically been linked with an area where there was a paedophile and um, they did do a bit of a search, um, they did a, a search um, in bushland near Kendall between 2018 and 2020 with cadaver dogs etc. Found a few bones but only animal bones. Anyway, so the, the area where this lady lives actually matches a, the video that I did last time and that was done back in February so let's just have a look at a couple of things so here we have the February 13 map and astrology that I did and here's the map here I'll just make it bigger so there's a few lines that I mapped here um, if we could zoom in you'd see that that's his house where he was playing and the main line for a child under the age of five is the moon and it was at 29 Aries. Aries is zero north and 29 is just 29 degrees um, east of that zero north line. So as we I think it's around here. Okay. This is where the lines cross. Albert Street again, this thing here. Now these could be areas that possibly they may have seen something else. Forest Glen Road, this is off bushland there, that'd, that'd be interesting to look. Okay, as you can see here, we've got Logan Crossing Road, and that actually goes around, I zoom out at that point, but it goes around to an area that um, you can see here, Logan's Crossing, but it's here. So now I'm going to show you exactly where that line is, because I didn't zoom in close enough. I want to show it because I believe that some people are going to know if that lady lives there, if that bushland has been searched, and if not, then perhaps it could be of assistance for searching for little William. Here's the chart for the 12th of September, 10.30am. We have William as, oh, not again, as the ascendant Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter in the ninth house there in Leo. We have what seems to be possibly two perpetrators or 
somebody that is reasonably young or younger at the time or had a cousin, sibling, brother, um, somebody as well that knows what happened. So maybe two people knows what happened. Maybe that there was probably some type of DNA at the house at some point, which is probably in hindsight now. We have 29 degree IC with a 29 degree MC. We've got a 29 degree Aries moon. Now when we look at missing children, especially under the age of five, we look to the moon. 29 degrees is very critical. What it does do is it gives us directions and this moon at 29 degrees of Aries is where we need to really look and I'm very interested that that lady has now and the moon is also a woman. So a woman coming forward with that information is interesting. Oh. We always look for a relationship between the perpetrator and the victim and the perpetrator is Mercury here, victims Jupiter and they are nearly exactly sextiling each other which shows me probably more than anything that this person was had seen William before or knew of him and wanted to take him. But um, it does seem like two people may know what happened. Um, but there's a connection between him and the person that did this. Now, maybe, because the person that did, did this and w this one here is in the 11th house of friends um, and William is residing in a house where churches are represented or societies or play you know communities things like that maybe this was a person who had seen him somewhere else as well at a church I, I don't know why i think church for the ninth house there's many things um the fact that the moon's in the fifth house also the fifth house is sports and different places to play so he could have been seen at another place prior to what happened that's what I'm getting at anyway whatever in terms of the reading says is not what we're going to do today what we're doing today is really focusing on this 29 degree moon on the map and see how it matches up with the area of Herons Creek here we have William's last location, number 48, Benaroon Drive on the corner there in New South Wales. Now, the 29 degree Aries line is here. You can see at the bottom there it says bearing 29. Now when we get down the bottom, it's actually it's 29.33. That says 2937. So 29 degrees is the moon. 29 degree Aries moon. And I've gone all the way out here. but So it goes through Herons Creek there and Logan's Crossing. So let's zoom in. So that's the bushland behind him. This is as the crow flies, obviously goes through Camden Haven River and the area that I'm interested in here uh, um, firstly is Logan's Crossing Road and this area here then Herons Creek Road Walker's Creek this area here is quite interesting to me We've got a cross point of two areas in the chart. As we go up, we can see, I'll turn it, we can see there it crosses over Herons Creek and Walker's Creek at different points and Herons Creek Road. So I'll just go back there, I apologise. So we've got this Walker's Creek area, Herons Creek Road 
going through there still adjacent to Herons Creek Road through this whatever this is more bushland now we're west, um, east of Herons Creek Road now we're going through whatever this is and coming closer to the Pacific Highway there's more bushland so obviously this is the little town where Herons Creek is um, and it goes through right here Herons Creek this bit of bushland and then here Bob's Creek Creek Road 27 2 Trail Blundell Road just going al going along the edge of the main road there we've got a lot of land here I know um, Cutty Creek Let's see how far we've gone out to Basin Ridge Road Tallowood Creek and then it crosses the Pacific Highway and sort of ends up around this Coils Road so if we zoom out where are we now quite far up by that point so my point of interest is definitely between here Logan's Crossing and Walker's Creek and this Herons Creek area here so if that means something to people that are looking if it can be passed along it's not a coincidence that it goes through there this has worked many times before these crossover points are uh, important and I am going to leave a link to this map in the description so 10 minutes driving at, in mileage which converts to kilometers but I use mileage goes out five miles and so here's the area that I had before around Walker's Creek and Heron Creek and Logan's Crossing Road then if we go out the five miles which is 10 minutes which is the 10 minutes north of Kendall like it says in the article that puts her approximately maybe around this area unless she's over this side of course um, around Heron's Creek now I don't know where she lives but it does go through there and that's sort of where it stops that Blundell Road area that I was mentioning before so um, yeah like I said I'm not going to be able to get her address and I wouldn't put her address on here anyway because she's just a, not a human who doesn't deserve her address on here but um, somebody that is privy to the information may know that that is actually the case and yeah um, be able to take that a little further just to reiterate we go back to this the Sydney Morning Herald Tuesday afternoon Anna Baker told the court she was at her home in Herons Creek 10 minutes north of Kendall north of Kendall if it's absolutely nowhere near that lady but still um, falls on this line somewhere which like I said will be in the description below then it needs to be searched as well okay I do hope that helps I battled to and fro whether to even put it out again please need to know the information and maybe just maybe somebody can pass that information along I of course will send a tip but often I don't get taken seriously now that's not all the time but a lot of the time I don't so uh, perhaps somebody that sees this will know 
that it's at least worth a crack. Okay guys, take care. See you soon. Bye.